Hi, I'm Joel Stoddart from HSV Engineering and today I'm here to talk to you about the fantastic HSV GDSR range, in particular the powertrains. But before we get into the new 2017 models, I think it's worth going back to where it all started, 1996, the VS GDSR. Powered by a naturally aspirated 5.7 litre engine, producing 215 kilowatts and 475 newton metres, in its day, the most powerful engine we'd ever produced. So powerful, in fact, we had to fit a unique 256 six-speed manual transmission to handle all that torque. For those that had a little bit of extra money to spend, for just $10,500, you could have the HRT optimised pack, which in fact took the engine out of the car up to our HRT engine technicians, and they rebuilt the engine closer to its manufacturing tolerances and specifications. They balanced all the reciprocating and rotating components, optimised the cam timing, giving you an extra handful of kilowatts and a few more newton meters. And in fact, at $10,500, 20 customers took up this option. This engine could propel the GDSR from 0 to 100 in 6.6 .6 seconds and get you down the quarter mile in 14.4 seconds. With an ultimate volume of 85 units, 75 for Australia, 9 for New Zealand and one press car makes this car very, very exclusive to the lucky owners who have them still today. Fast forward to 2017, all new GDSR, 6.2 litre supercharged engine producing 435 kilowatts and 740 newton metres. We've come a long way in 21 years. The LSA Supercharger runs twin four-low beaten rotors, producing 1.9 litres of air per revolution. We've also developed a unique air filter for this model to help us reach that 435 kilowatts. So the original GDSR, 5.7 litre naturally aspirated engine, zero to 100 in 6.6 .6 seconds. 2017, we have a 6.2 litre engine, supercharged, zero to 100, 4.4 seconds. The all new GDSR has a dedicated charge air cooling system, a dedicated differential and transmission cooling system, and a dedicated engine oil cooling system as well. So if you think the GDSR is good, you're gonna love this, the HSV GDSR W1, the supercharged LS9 engine, producing 474 kilowatts, literally the most powerful car ever made in Australia. 6.2 litre supercharged engine, the LS9, has Eaton four lobe rotors producing 2.3 litres of air per revolution, forged aluminium pistons, forged titanium conrods, titanium inlet valves, hollow stem exhaust valves, all allowing this engine to rev to 6,600 RPM. The LS9 engine's been developed for really high performance, and as such, it has a dry sump system, which you can see as soon as you open the bonnet. With the dry sump situated in this part of the engine bay, we had to move our airbox. So what we've come up with is an over-radiator style, or OTR style airbox you can see here. In order to package this, we had to rotate the radiator assembly back six degrees so we can allow this airbox to come through here and pick up its air down here in a nice uh, cold air intake system. As with the original VS GDSR, this engine is too powerful for the standard transmission, so we've had to fit a unique transmission with high torque capability to this car. While we've done that, we've also changed the gear ratio set in what we call a close gear ratio to allow the driver to keep the engine in the sweet spot more often. At 474 kilowatts and 815 newton metres, this car can get you from zero to 104.2 seconds and down the quarter mile in just 12.2. That's if you can get the power to the ground. So here we are underneath the GDSR W1. I thought it's worth pointing out a few of the differences with the LS9 engine. First thing you'll notice is the sump pan here, the LS9 being a dry sump engine, doesn't require the volume of a wet sump engine. It's got a nice compact sump pan and then your oil lines running up here to your dry sump. Another difference with the LS9 is this nine plate stacked oil cooler. It's a water to oil cooler that we've used on LSA, but for the LS9 we've added two additional plates. So it's gone from seven up to nine and we've done that for additional cooling performance. Another difference with the LS9 is these unique headers and catalytic converter assemblies. On the LS9, we've actually made a high flow four into one stainless steel exhaust flowing straight into a catalytic converter and then bolted onto the system. For the LS9, it's a two and a half inch system all the way through. 